There's so much different reasons for it, but I'll give you the meaning that I learned from my grandmother. Aloha is being able to love someone just because we all are here together in this earth to really recognize and remember that we're all brothers and sisters. We all come from the same source and we're here to be of service, of highest service to each other. So the honu, or the turtle, is the, I would say, one of the very first of the almakuas here on the earth. And the almakua is our, is, most times it's in reference to an ancestral spirit that comes back in one of the different forms, the turtle. And the very first of the covenants came off at that time. And the covenant was, and still is today, that we take care of her. 
for time and all eternity and in turn she will do the same to us. So that's the very first of the agreements between us and the earth because we live on the turtle's back. This is the purest kind of thing that you could probably drink, huh? Mmm. <laughs> Taste this one. That's like eating home. You eat home? You should. Eat home, don't eat out. <laughs> Naya, which is our dolphins. And not only are they protectors of the children, but we believe that all of us have the child within and within us. We have the ability to connect with them on that level. They remind us that our pod or our family is very important. They remind us to take care of each other, to watch out for each other, and to help each other. You know, that's some of the gifts that they continue to give us now. Now, Kohola, which is our whale, that's a powerful one. Another thing that shows us that we are so blessed to be here, to be here at a spot where animals will come from around the world to choose this spot, not just to give birth, but also to make love and to, to be able to have that. So taking it from that level, we actually try to keep that. And so the gift of aloha is continually shared, you know, between the animals and us and us with others that come. It's a very powerful temple instrument. Back in ancient days, we actually used this to call the four directions before the beginning of a ceremony. I learned how to make these things from my grandmother. I continue to make all the ancient instruments and basically that's, that's my job. I usually harvest these twice a year. Their ma'ole ohe was just the only native Hawaiian bamboo that we have. And what I do is that I never harvest these green. They're only taken out of the forest or taken out of the bamboo patch when the bamboo is done with it. And then I take it to the ocean, I tie it off. And what happens then is that those salt water absorbs actually into the walls of the bamboo. So when I pick up the piece of bamboo that's about 12 to 15 feet long, it's really heavy, it's about 150 pounds. Then I stick it underneath my house in the rafters and I forget about it for about six to eight months. <laughs> I like using the elements because the elemental powers that are involved in the making and the creating of this adds to it. I use fire to cut and burn. I used, again, the salt water. And the salt, as well as the bamboo itself, adds to the tone that you hear. What I see from what I'm hearing is what I burn. This one's got the mama and the baby. Beautiful dolphins of Kona. Actually, the instrument takes on a life of its own, yeah? If you don't honor it, it will crack. <laughs> it will break. Wow.